Heyo everybody, it's Synchros here and welcome back to another episode of Park Spotlight. And in today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at a pretty awesome multi-themed park. So stay tuned, and let's dive on in. Alright everyone, welcome back. And before we get underway, if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do so as we have lots of awesome Planet Coaster content in the works along with Planet Zoo. The beta is out as we speak. So we should have some really fun videos coming out if they aren't out already. So be sure to stay tuned. And back to our park. Today we're going to be looking at Explorers Park. Submitted by Sinvox, one of our Discord advanced builders. And they say, Hi Channel 5 Gaming, this is my first full size theme park. It features many rides that are suited for everyone. The park is divided into four main themed areas. The areas are Port Mediterranean, Amazonia, Land of the Dragon, and Horseshoe Gulch. It took me quite a long time to build, so I hope you enjoy it. Alright everyone, and here we are, Explorers Park. I like this entryway. So far, ooh, a roller coaster over there. Nice. Port Mediterranean, okay. I really like this, man. I, th I thought I'd let some guests in. I'm just going to take a peek up here quick. I think I might let a few more in just to make this look a little bit busier. There's a thousand guests in here. We can probably get away with 2,000 without dropping frames, so we're going to give that a go. All right, there we go. Get some guests up in here. Look at the horde of people coming in. That's awesome. Sweet. I really like this building style. I'm curious if you made all these buildings yourself. This is a pretty decent amount of work put into all this. Looks really nice. Uh. Okay, I see. So it's just a little walk through. I was going to say, for the entryway, it seems kind of weird to have it split off on an angle like that. But this is sort of like the pre-entryway, and then you get into the main park. Where you can split off into the rest of the sections. Pretty neat. So I think we'll ride the roller coasters as we go on this one. Looks like there's a few. I don't want to miss any. Apparently I've done that before, so we're going to try not to do that on this one. It's probably the exit for it. There's a ride somewhere with some rock and bass. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. Wait, so how do we get to that other roller coaster? Is that back here? That's the exit. Race back here. Okay, I guess maybe that's through Horseshoe Gulch. I guess we'll check that out first. I'm not seeing it. Oh, oh, I see. It's over there. Gotcha. Okay, well, we'll head on over there. This roller coaster looks awesome. Excited to ride that. We're just gonna kind of zip through here quick. Nice vista, really good. So I wonder how we get into this. I guess with this section over here, I don't know, it's kind of... doesn't really make any sense, because you... It's part of this section, obviously, but to get to it... Wait, no. Oh, I'm so confused. Where is the entrance for this thing? Oh, do you go into the building, maybe? Oh, look at that. Okay. Laguna... Here we go. I totally missed that. That's really cool. I was about to give you a heck for having it, like, separated from the rest of this section. Cool, Q. Oh, 
All right, we got a coaster here. So, so we have Laguna Gulch, a winged lunch cloud runner with a 5.5 in excitement, a 3.30 fear, a 1.19 nausea. There's a look at the rest of the results if you're interested. And let's get on in. That was a ton of fun. I really like that one. I just kind of threw on whatever music. I, I, know, I just quickly picked one. It wasn't totally suitable for this area, but I mean, it's kind of an action packed coaster there. So a nice fast paced song worked. So that's uh, one thing I would definitely recommend is putting music on your coasters because we end up just randomly picking a song. I don't really put a whole lot of effort into it. Not a big deal though. See if our next few have music. Okay, so back off to the Horseshoe Gulch. Western area. I love this area. I mean, it's just kind of a standard Western area, but I just like the, uh, I just like how you incorporated the uh, roller coaster with their pathing, how it goes over top everywhere. It's really neat. Would have been nice to uh, see some more details on your western buildings. Like you have a little bit here, but I think bordering off your corners and stuff like that with like wood beams, kind of like how the entryway's done, but do that on the corners and throw a little bit more on there. It just makes the building sell a lot better. Ooh, we got a log flume over here too. We'll do the log flume first. And I think after that, it's just roller coasters. Let's try and find the entrance for that. Oh, I think that's where the base is coming from earlier. Oh yeah, definitely. Man, we got a bunch of rides over here. Two roller coasters and a log flume. Okay, I think. I kind of think this is the log flume entrance. We got Loggers Creek, a log flume with a 4.7 excitement, a 3.16 fear, and a 1.90 nausea. There's a look at the rest of the results.
That was a pretty awesome little log flume. I like that a lot. Very immersive and action packed the whole time. I'm just gonna put it on pause because that is super loud. I really like this area down here and I like that it double backed on itself so you could see the other guests down here when you went by. It was really cool. And I felt like I was on a, like an actual log ride from a real park. Just the way you did the theming, it wasn't over the top. And yeah, it was just kind of had that sort of theme park cheesiness to it, I guess, in a good way. Yeah, and you uh, really thought out the way your drops went, like this looks over the entire park, so really good job there. Overall, solid log flume. Really enjoyed that. Okay. Let's go check out... What is that, a spinning coaster? I guess this way? Nope. How do we get to the spinning coaster? This looks like it. Oh, and I forgot that copperhead coaster too. Have to make sure and go back after this one. For our next coaster, we have Dynamite Railroad, a spinning coaster with a 5.04 excitement, a 3.50 fear, and a 0.78 nausea. There's a look at the rest of the results. That was a ton of fun. That's like one of the few spinning coasters that I didn't feel nauseated on. The momentum of the spin was done very well, so really good job on that. I, that yeah, that was a lot of fun, this one. I'm generally not a fan of spinning coasters, but you did this one very well. All right, off to our Copperhead coaster. 
Dubstep. It's like four people on that ride. <laughs> Park actually runs pretty well. It's decent size, so I'm pretty happy with that. It's the exit there. Oh, here we go. We're about to get a nice shot. Look at that. Love it. I'm pretty excited for this one. I like those looping digging Deegans. They're fun coasters. Uh, hop over that. All right, looks like we got a train here. So we have Copper Strike, a looping digging coaster with a 4.52 excitement, a 2.63 fear, and a 0.65 nausea. There's a look at the rest of the results, and I'm pretty stoked for this one. That was a fun little looping coaster. It was over before I wanted it to be. It was, looked like there was a bit more track there than I had anticipated, but still, nonetheless, lots of fun there. Looks like you kind of lean towards more of the realism. You got like your main coaster elements here, the double loop, double corkscrew, and then sort of just some filler track in between. A really good job there. I think that's it for this section. We're gonna continue. I think we can get to the next one through here. Looks like Chinatown. Let's go. What do you got there? Is that a hot dog? The bun to dog ratio is way off. Come on, Planko. More dubstep. Dubstep is like electronic metal. I'm not big on the electronic music, but I can handle dubstep. It's heavy. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, I love it. Oh man, I'm gonna have a hard time pronouncing any of these. Fence Jew Firestorm? Come on. That's okay. Gives you guys something to laugh at. What's up here? Hotel Nihao. Nailed that one. I like this area. They got a very... You got the Asian gardens. Looks nice. Alright. I guess we'll just get right on this one since it's right here and easy.
straight by the queue. I love it. This is a huge queue. All right. All right. Just put in a priority pass on that one. Jeez. Would not want to wait in line for that. Looks like we got a train here. So we have Fang Zhu Firestorm, a wooden gnarler with a 6.15 excitement, a 4.27 fear, and a 1.04 nausea. There's a look at the rest of the results. Jesus, that thing is insane. In like, in a good way insane. That's, that was great. You're just hugging the terrain the entire time, hitting all the bank corners real fast. Lots of air time. Really good track design on this one. I really like that. Could have used a little smoothing in some areas, but I mean, overall, a ton of fun. Kind of seems like you're leaning towards realism with a lot of these coasters. I don't know. I might get chewed out for saying that. We'll see what people in the comments have to say, but generally a wooden coaster in real life, I don't think they're perfectly smooth everywhere just because they're wood and wood warps. And yeah, really, really fun roller coaster. Good job on that one. Let's head over here. What's over here? It's like some shops. I haven't really even taken a close look at the uh, the Asian building set that they added. Huh. This is a very big empty room. I mean, it serves its purpose. You get some tables and chairs that nobody's using. Oh, it's because there's probably no shop guys. They probably all quit. That's one thing I usually do when I'm trying to make especially if you're gonna be submitting a park or something like that it takes a lot of time but go through hire all the vendors and give them all of the raises all of the training and everything so they don't quit on you and then people will actually go in here and use this stuff and make it look more bustling than just a big empty room again not like a make or break anything obviously but yeah it's just a nice nice little uh, add-on to the immersiveness of your park for when we're checking it out now we got Amazonia. It's kind of a adventure area. This will probably end up being my favorite area because adventure is kind of my thing. I like it a lot. Okay, so let's uh, guess we'll go over here. There's the roller coaster entrance. We'll check that out in a minute here. I want to do a little loop around here first. You did a really good job at making sure that your roller coasters interact with the pathing and stuff. It, like, really good job there. That adds to any park experience so much when you have it going over the pathways and interacting with the guests and everything. Oh, wonder what was over there then. Okay. I thought that entrance to the other roller coaster was for this one, but I guess not. So I guess we'll ride this one next. Yeah, you get it right close to the coaster. That's awesome. 
You imagine standing in a queue and seeing one whiz by here? That would just get you so stoked to ride. Alright. Onward ho. We're going to skip all that biznatch. And it looks like we got a train here. We've been lucking out with that. We haven't had to really wait for a train ever. Okay, so next up we have King Cobra, a inverted four-seater with a 5.99 excitement, a 3.79 fear, and a 1.40 nausea. And there's a look at the rest of the results. That may very well be my favorite roller coaster today. That was freaking fun. The first zero G roll, I think. Which one did we do first? Okay, so we come down here. I think we did the loop with the zero G roll right back to back. That was super fun roller coaster. I think zero G rolls on an inverted coaster are the best looking thing ever. Here, I'm gonna wait for a coaster to come. Yeah, love it. Awesome stuff. I think on these, one thing I would challenge you to do a little more of, I just want to check here. So yeah, these are all the uh, pre-made coaster elements. So one thing I would like to challenge for you, Sinvox, is to attempt some uh, custom inversions and stuff. Custom zero G rolls are pretty easy to do. Uh, custom loops, that's a different story because people are generally pretty picky on those. Kind of have a teardrop shape and to be able to even get that on some of the coasters, the game and tells you no. <laughs> At least I've had that problem, the game just doesn't let me smooth it out very well, so you end up stuck with this really crappy loop. And it's really hard to get that teardrop shape, but as far as like zero G rolls and corkscrews and things like that go, and even barrel rolls, uh, trying custom inversions isn't all that hard, and you get a little more freedom with the way they uh, bank in and transition from section to section. So yeah, I would uh, try giving that a go. So anyways, yeah, that's my challenge for you, Sinvox. I think you'd be more than capable of doing something like that because you put a lot of thought into your track design and they're a lot of fun. So yeah, up to you whether you want to listen to or not. Anyways, off to... Let's go find that other roller coaster. I dig this area quite a bit. Kind of got a canopy of trees over top. It looks really nice. pretty excited for that cascade coaster all right i really like to see what people do with them because they're kind of a a tricky one to do really really well so it's always kind of exciting to see if someone comes up with something new for them because you got like kind of a log flume element and a uh, roller coaster element with them so yeah they're a lot of fun to mess around with i wish you could bring the terrain right up to the pathing it's annoying that he doesn't let you do that. It creates like this weird barrier. It should just not do that at all. It's silly. Okay. We got some trains waiting here because the ride is broken down. What? Okay, we'll get that sorted and we're going to ride this. Before we do, we'll do the introduction. We have Expedition Amazonia, a Cascade Coaster with a 4.10 excitement, a 2.05 fear, and a 1.55 nausea. There's a look at the rest of the results. We'll get this thing fixed up so we can ride it. I decided to do a chewy noise. 
That's what that reminded me of. And you know what? I'm gonna do commentary during this one. Some of you guys have been asking about that, so maybe we could, uh, in parks, split it up from ride to ride. This one's a bit more chill, so... Boom, boom, boom. Oh, here we go. No, no! Oh, boy. That was a close one. Ooh, I like this area. Nice. That was a good way to end the ride. A little rough on that last little bit there, but that was a great way to exit out of that. Overlooking the entire park. Loved it. I wish you could trigger like the, the ride music, because... You can have it set so it kind of changes the mood once you're out of the actual dark ride portion. Cause it's like super dramatic right now. We're just kind of chilling on an Amazon river in the middle of the day. I guess I could have switched it to night, but yeah. Cool dark ride. I really enjoyed that. Okay, I think we're gonna go out this side. I think this is the queue. Yeah, this is. We didn't check that out, so we're gonna leave through here. Yeah, I'd say that was a pretty good execution of the cascade. You had ups and downs. You didn't really drop it into the water while you had a lot of speed going, so I'd, I'd say you utilize the, the track design of the Cascade pretty well on that one. And you know, the Cascade's a great coaster choice for a dark ride, because you can have these action-packed parts and then these super chill parts where you get to deliver like a super creepy experience, so really good for dark rides. What do we got over her? Over her, we got some shops with nobody in them. Back to what I was saying earlier. Get some staff in here and give them big raises so they don't quit on us. Amazonia. Okay, so now we're back in... Asia? Is this not looped through? Okay, so... Oh yeah, I guess so. I guess, I guess we're out of park then. Doing it. I actually really enjoy the swing rides, although I'm really sketched out of one of the chains breaking. It's like, that's a lot of weight swinging off of two little links at the top. I know they're super strong, but not even, oh, this one's even worse. You got four chains going to two points, connecting to one point. I hate that. That's not beefy enough for me. I probably actually wouldn't ride this. I'm sure it's fine, but yeah. Alright, well, I guess that uh, that wraps it up for the actual park. Um, yeah, so overall thoughts. Let's zoom out here. Um, 
the pre-entryway here I thought was really nice. He did a really good job there. It's kind of like a little resort sort of style area as you're walking around. You got this roller coaster to look at, sort of a beach front with some umbrellas and restaurants. The buildings are really nice. The western area, I thought, like the landscaping and stuff, he did really good. The boarding station for, uh, what one was this one called? The boarding station for Copyright Strike I thought was pretty well detailed, but the rest of the buildings are kind of plain and just don't really sell a good western vibe for me. They're definitely a western looking building, just because it's the building set, but uh, yeah, the, just the details on them that was a little lacking for, my, for me, and I feel like you could have spruced that up with like 300 pieces of just trim work. And I don't think it would have taken all that long to add some trim to these and it would have sold it a little better for me. But yeah, overall the western area was really nice. That log flume was awesome. Roller coaster is really cool. That spinning coaster is one of my favorite ones I've been on in a long time actually. Yeah, the wooden coaster is freaking phenomenal. I think overall though my favorite coaster was definitely the inverted. The cascade was fun, but it wasn't, uh, I don't know, the inverted just uh, had a lot more action in it for me. I liked the coaster elements a lot more. The track design I thought was well thought out and well integrated into the terrain. A lot of fun. And as I'm picking out favorites here, I noticed that there is a kitty coaster. So I think we're going to end the video off riding this one. Let me know what you guys all thought about this part down in the comments below and if you'd like to go tell Sinvox how good of a job he'd done, links are down in the description to join our Discord and if you like this video be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more awesome Planet Coaster content. We're going to end this video off riding the kitty coaster so we'll see you on the next one. Bye now.